As you can see, we have an E46 M3 on the channel once again. Uh, but this is the owner right here, so why don't you introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about your car. Uh, my name is Molina, this is my Emola E46 M3. Uh, it's my daily driver. It's not perfect, but it's fun, I'm sure you guys all know. It's pretty stock, nothing really to it. I mean, I got T37s, uh, CSL trunk, status group carbon fiber diffuser, the muffler, I don't even know, so don't ask. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fun daily. Uh, not as good as the E36, that will get another day. Mm -hmm. We'll save that one, but yeah, I love this thing, you know? So what got you into you know BMWs? Because you said you have E36. You obviously have this E46 M3. So what yeah. makes you keep coming back to those cars? Uh, in high school, I saw my homies that had E36 M3s. This was like way back. They were like 2,500 bucks. You could buy a Mint, you know, E36 Coupe. Now it's a different story, but uh, yeah, I had a couple E36s, probably like six or seven of them. And then I finally got into a E36 M3. Right now I'm turboing it. Uh, it's an M52 turbo build, but it's not running yet. We'll get to it soon. But after that, I saw the E46. I drove a couple of them, and I thought, you know, it's a step up from the E36 in the sense of it being a daily. Uh, it's a little bit easier and all that and fun. So I got into it, and it's been fun so far. So actually, at the time, I was just looking around. I was looking at E92s couple of F80s and this was about a year ago so the market was a little bit different but these were around 20 25k and I honestly don't even like red but I saw this Emola it's actually Emola on Emola but the full interior is not there right now but I saw it at a good price so I picked it up in Sacramento which is up north and I drove it and I was like I just gotta buy it and I've had it for almost a year now I haven't really done much like I said but Right now I'm gonna go track build, seats, cage, intake, probably do headers, full exhaust, um, and just, yeah, have fun with it on the track a little bit. So E36 and then E46 M3, uh, what would be next, you know, if you were to go to another car? Honestly, my whole plan was obviously skipping out on the E30 because those M3s are just way too expensive for me, but my whole plan was to just go up gen by gen. So I started with the E36, now I have the E46, I want to keep these cars and then hopefully next get an E92 and then F80. I'll probably skip out on the GAE, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But yeah, I mean, hopefully next at E92 and right now I know you know they're like 30, 30, 40k. Yeah. But I'll make my way up there. The big three is done on this car. I did the Vanos bearing, subframe, everything's done. So if I find one at a good price, you know, throttle actuators and bearings done, I'll pick it up, hop into it and try it. I bought the car with the subframe done, so I was like, okay, that's good, that's off the list. Um, I bought it at 130k miles, and since then, I did the bearings pretty quick. That was like one of the first things I did. Um, and then recently, I finally went with the Vanos. I went with the Bison uh, rebuild kit, and uh, my guy did everything. I know people go with Dr. Vanos, but honestly, the Bison's cheaper if you piece everything together. It's really just personal preference. Like in the past couple years, you'll see a lot more E46 swaps. Um, there's actually a swap that you could do using the SMG. I'm not like too familiar with exactly how it goes, but I know you could just you know remove the pump, and you can actually use uh, a short shifter and do it that way, or you could just do a proper manual swap with the manual transmission. This car itself was actually an SMG once upon a time, so the previous owner did the swap, and I mean, I've loved it so far. It's, it's not that expensive. It's pretty easy to do. It's pretty straightforward, and I'm sure you guys know the SMG pumps go out all the time, so worst case scenario, if the pump goes out, just manual swap it. It'll be better off. <laughs> I was originally gonna do the walk around, but she pr she gave me a good idea because she knows the car way better. So I'm gonna hand it over to her, and she's gonna kind of give you a breakdown of what's uh, done to the car and all that. All right, guys. So if I'm not mistaken, these are T37 SLs. I believe I went 18 by 10 ET25. Uh, they're wrapped in 615 Falcons. Uh, the car originally came with the black grills on the front and the sides, but uh, when I went with the Mercury Silver TEs, I decided to switch it up and, and go with the chrome. 
I actually ran before this. I don't know if you guys remember, but <laughs> I actually before this, I had uh, the black RAs. So it kind of fit like the black vibe, but you know, now I, I just wanted to switch it up. So yeah, this, this is the whole car. The CSL trunk is from VIS. Uh, it's pretty hard to find like a good fitting carbon trunk when it comes to the E46. Um, you know, you, you're just always gonna have to mess with it. Even my fitment's a little bit off, but in the future, um, I'm trying to get my buddy to make me a custom exhaust. I've been thinking of what to go with. If you guys have suggestions, let him know and yeah comment I, below <laughs> I'll, t I'll take a look and you know maybe maybe i'll pick that one but show us the interior you got the emola door cards the seats were emola before but he switched them out i guess they were worn out but <laughs> Ricaros, <laughs> Ricaros. Ricaros. but honestly i was thinking when i get buckets i'll probably do pull positions you guys let me know do i go red pull positions or do i go black my cage will probably be either silver chrome or white so you guys let me know what you guys think as far as my steering wheel goes i just went with kobe wheel i ordered a wheel already i mm -hmm. think i went with a white stripe or a, a red stripe i'm not too sure but it's alcantara wheel and as far as the shifter goes shifters all stock nothing much to it um i did tint my windows because you know i get some creeps looking at me every once in a while <laughs> so I, how dark is it, I, I it. not dark enough i'm sorry <laughs> i know you guys like the fishbowl but you know it just i couldn't do it so uh yeah that's pretty much it this lip actually is not from status group it's not from any of those places this is an alibaba lip and i'm not gonna lie to you guys I've had multiple people, I know that's busted right now, it's but cooked. <laughs> it's cooked, it's cooked. It is cooked. I'm not gonna lie, I've had multiple people ask me where I got this lip from. If you guys want it, I will send you the link. You'll save your money, and it's one of the best fitting lips I've ever seen on an E46. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for yeah. showing my car. We'll have the E36 on here soon. It's boosted. It is boosted. Yeah, but so, but anyways, eBay to answer, boosted. eBay boost, eBay boost. <laughs> it is an eBay bill. <laughs> hey man, how much did it cost? How much did it cost? We'll, we'll get to that. We'll okay. To that. But anyways, um, for her question about the Recaros, I think it should be red. Um, you so? Yeah, because. But it, what about this? I could also do black, like leather, and then the inserts are red. Okay, she's like she's kind of onto something there, You're but the <laughs> but the thing is, I think it should be red because her um, her Those roll cage red. is going to be like silver. It's going to be a neutral color, and when you have the windows, you know, down on this car, okay, and you if have I red. If I get a cage <laughs> and I do the seats, I will go fishbowl. I promise. Okay. I will take the fucking tits off. Okay. Right, let's take the tent off before. No, because I already know how she is. We're gonna put the cage in. She'd be like, "Fuck, we forgot to take out the tent." I'm, I'm not gonna spend all that money for you guys to not be able to see it when I'm driving by. So. Yeah. So I think she should go with the red because, um, you know, it just it would look good with a neutral roll cage and then a fishbowl look. But yeah, this is her E46 M3. This is what it looks like from afar. It's really nice. It looks better than my car, honestly. Um, despite all the flaws that she mentioned, it still looks better than my car. Uh, my car's fucking cooked. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but, but we are gonna get it looking better, I promise. Uh, I have, you know, appointment next week to get some shit onto it. So anyways, uh, hopefully you like the video. It's definitely long enough to put ads in it now, but yeah. I hope you make some money, man. Get that, get that paint correction going. I'll get it done, yeah, man. This guy, this yeah, guy's gonna his, do his ads, his ads is gonna pay for my new transmission that <laughs> So, so yeah. Down. Go find me link in the bio. Subi's yeah. down. Subi's, Subi's down. down. His trans went out. Um, e ninety two next, and then my my fucking bearings go out. Yeah. <laughs> Along with my actuators. All right. Before this goes on too long, go for the disclaimer. All right, guys. So you already know S fifty four sounds like shit, but he wants reps. So. Yes, sir. Take over. Take over. <laughs> no. Bring it, bring it. Shut up, bro. In the, in the intersection. Yeah. Shut up, bro. <laughs>